from India. He says he has a problem with wiping solid objects. And brothers and sisters, the issue of wiswas is prevailing, as I always say in my counseling sessions to the brothers. Shaitan focuses on how you think. If you are inclined to religion, you fear Allah, you fear hellfire, you fear impurity, you love Quran, Salat, etc. He increases in these wiswas. I'm not going to talk about the other part. And this is why you're getting these whispers. People spend half an hour in the toilet answering the call of nature. Akhi, how many people are on earth? Eight billion? Does anyone else suffer the same that you do? She said, no, I'm the only one. So subhanAllah. Yeah, and you're the chosen one? The shaitan is messing up with your mind. So now, to us Muslims, what renders this to be pure or impure? This tablet, is it pure or impure? This pad, is it pure or impure? What makes it pure or impure? Is it my inclination? Is it my gut feeling? No. It is the Quran and the Sunnah that tells us if there is an impurity, it's najis. If there is no impurity, it's not najis. How do I know if there is purity or not, impurity or not? Well, by evidences that can stand in a court of law. Your gut feeling doesn't do. So this pen, the cameraman gave it to me before I started the show. Now, I don't know if the cameraman touched it with impure hands or not, because he just came out of the toilet before coming to the studio and giving it to me. So now I'm having my doubts because I wrote with it and I scratched, no, no, <laughs> let the camera come back to my face. Don't, uh, I scratch my beard with my hand, so my hand is nudges, my beard is nudges, my thobe is nudges. Akhi, who, <laughs> where did you get these weird ideas from? Ah, oh, because the cameraman came out of the toilet. Okay, and he touched the pen. Okay, and there is a probability, wait. There is a what? Probability. Oh, it's, is it certainty or doubtful? No, it's doubtful. If it's doubtful, throw it in the dustbin. Oh, I can't, Sheikh. Why? Because I have these doubts. I said, listen, you were born out of wedlock. Your mom did not marry your father before she conceived you. They were a boyfriend and, and girlfriend. <gasps> I'm shocked, Sheikh. How do you, dare you say such, such a thing? I said, why? Were you there when they got married? You weren't there. You didn't see anything. So you were a bastard. Excuse my French. You were born out of wedlock. So said, no, they were married, Sheikh. You don't know. No, no, I'm certain. How are you certain? Everybody knows about it, Sheikh. I have a marriage contract. I have a birth, birth certificate. Ah, you have evidences that can stand in a court of law. I said, yes. Prove to me that the pen is impure. How can I do that, Sheikh? By seeing visible traces of feces. There's nothing on that. By <laughs> smelling it or tasting it, I wouldn't advise you to do that. But these are the evidences that take such whispers and manipulation of shaitan out of your head. Otherwise, you're going to be stuck till the end of your life. And it's going to cascade to all aspects of your life, even to marriage and divorce, by the way. Because I'm doing such counseling for couples that have these weird ideas that they might be divorced. And I have to spend so many hours with them, convincing them that they're not. So it's a rule in Islam. It's one of the legal maxims. Certainty is not affected by doubt. So now let us hypothetically assume there is traces of feces on your mobile. What to do? Bring a tissue and wipe it until there are no traces. Okay, the tissue is dirty, Sheikh. Throw it and bring something else if there are other traces. But you don't wash it because soft and um, uh, surfaces that are not hard. See, this wood is hard. There are small spots in it. If there is an impurity, wiping it would not remove it because it's, there's still some particles of it. On a mobile phone, when it has a glass surface or a metal surface that is so polished and so straightforward, wiping it does the job. 
like a blade, like a knife, like a sword. If you wipe it and there are no traces of impurity on it, it is totally pure and Allah knows best. But to think that, oh, Sheikh, I washed or I wiped it and then it transferred to my hand and to my, from my hand it transferred to the whole house. What is this, coronavirus? What, what is this? This is insane. A small drop of urine or madi, you think that it penetrates your underwear and then it penetrates your jeans and then it penetrates the blanket and then it spreads all over the, the floor. It's the blob. It's, it's this monstrous thing that goes and creeps and, and eats everything, consumes everything. This is not Islam. You're not following Islam. You're following shaitan. So be careful and wake up.